Dear students, greetings of the day. A small and sweet video, short video about the KCT rank. How to how they can find board marks plus KCT marks is equal to KCT rank. In a sweet and short three to four minutes video, I can explain very clearly because so many students are waiting for this particular video. It's not lengthy, just sweet and short. I can by considering the 2022, 21, 20 marks, I can I given the maximum and approximate rank of for 2023 by using board marks as well as KCT marks, your KCT rank. Dear students, if you if a student got 300 in PCM out of 300 and KCT he got 130 he or she, then what is his approximate KCT rank is between 900 to 1000. Below 1000 is possible. If both marks, 3 marks decreased, 297 they got. In KCT also 110 they got. Then what is approximate rank of KCT? 3000 to 3500. 295 board 1 or 2 KCT, rank 4500 to 5000. 299 board is more, but KCT they got very less, 95. Then what is his rank? 5500 to 6000. Student got 288. 95, 7000 to 7500, 296, 85, 9500 to 10,000, 295 board marks, 75 KCT, then 14,000 to 14,500, 280 board, 80 KCT, 16,500 to 17,500, 250 board, KCT 80, then is rank 30,000 to 32,000. So this is the scenario of board PCM plus KCT, you are getting the rank of KCT. So dear students, if you got very good marks in KCT, very good rank in KCT, whatever board marks already you know, already you reached. So many students are between this range in PCM. So you need to score this type of marks in KCT, then your rank should be like this. This is maximum the approximate rank they are giving in KCT 2023. If any doubts still regarding the KCT rank, please comment in the comment box. I wish you all the best for KCT examination 2023, all the best.